1948, 347 brave individuals crossed the Atlantic Ocean on their quest for freedom and a new homeland. An old British minesweeper named the Walnut brought them to Canada. Goitula Reuser was 25 years old when she and her husband Edward made their way across the sea aboard the Walnut. This was her second escape by boat, having left her homeland of Estonia just a mere four years earlier on a tiny 12-foot boat. At the age of 85, and after just celebrating the Walnut Passenger 60th reunion, Goitola recalls the voyage well. When uh, we hear that, that the German was losing and Russian comes back, we was kind of sad that time. It's very hard to go away where you are born and your language and your friends and your family. And we was just crying so hard that time. And when we left Estonia and we was going in Sweden, we understood that we can't live here. It was a nice country and people was very nice. Except, you know, the Russian was so closed and we decided that we do something, you know, and we are lo leaving in Sweden. And finally, when the chance came, the la um, leaving the Sweden, it wasn't so hard, like in coming out in Estonian. We was leaving from Sweden because it wasn't very safe. The Sweden was giving out to all those people, you know, what the Russian was asking back. The ID or by the boat was a group of people, you know, and we decided to put the money together and buy the boat. This is this is the minute book of Walnut. My husband was secretary and he had all those details which I didn't didn't know very much, you know. And they had a shareholders and some of them was just paying the price for crossing over when we was living in Sweden. And everybody was happy that we are start going. And uh, we was playing cards and had an uh, orange for it and everything was okay till we hit the big ocean. And after that, it was Everybody was seasick, everybody was laying down, nobody didn't move. And I didn't eat all those two weeks when we was in the ocean. Just once when we had a milk soup. And once I was going out and see how the ocean was looks like it. And that was awful big waves, just like the mountains, was moving up and down and that, that little boat was just tiny little things in that big, big ocean. And that's the amazing thing is that everybody was just didn't have any accident. The children was running around. They wasn't seasick. And we was happy when one, we eat the half the mark. And after that, you start feeling that the hand is coming. When we came out in Sweden, and we were supposed to have a certain mount, the boat, lifesaver boat. And 
they was putting one lifesaver boat uh, on the uh, front of the walnut and it was it wasn't very safe because the big storm comes and and it can roll over the safety boat was not like ordinary boat it was just round and top was close too I, I wasn't very sure I never expect see them how it, it was they say it, that you have to go in the sideways I, I, I wasn't I don't know very much you know it look, looked very awkward and it was just too much bother in the, that little boat the little uh, one and uh, in uh, when we was going in Ireland and we was just putting that things in the, on the ground because we didn't like it. When we left the Ireland and that was the autumn when they expect all kinds of storms and uh, that's what we hit. And the storm was getting so bad where we was sleeping, they was rolling us round. We was putting our back together and was holding like that, you know, that we was rolling round. And finally, everybody was suffering too much, you know, the captain was changing the course. We, we, it, uh, Two, one storm starts and other was just was finishing. We was hitting, hitting them. When we hear that, that we are, if we can see the land. Everybody was so excited, and we start counting minutes when we ended up in the land. And finally, when we ended up in the land, we was just in Sydney, and they say that they can't take so many people. And they say that we have to go in a Halifax. And everybody was so unhappy, you know, we have to go on the on ocean again. Well, we finished that, and we ended up in a Halifax. Everybody was so happy and uh, it was like that, the, the nurse came and tell us that somebody can go and uh, take the bath. And me and my sister-in-law, we decided that let's go, two of us, go and uh, take the bath because you know so long in there without padding. We were so happy. When, when we decided to move out to Estonia, and we see that, that the German was losing, you know, the Russian comes back, you know, that was a, the worst part. You are used to it, you have a language, you have a everything, and you have to leave.